iOS 13 has turned out to be kind of a buggy mess. And some people have actually asked me, can you downgrade from iOS 13 back to iOS 12? And in this video, we're gonna answer the question of should you downgrade? Can you downgrade? And how you would go about downgrading? Let the download begin. So if you're new here and you wanna learn how to use and troubleshoot your devices, plus some other cool tech stuff, we can help. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you don't miss when we release some cool, helpful content. So I guess the first question we should answer is, should you downgrade from iOS 13, 13.1 or 13.1.1, back down to iOS 12. I guess the answer really depends on how much issues you're currently having and are your issues fixable by troubleshooting them. If you're having an issue with your phone due to an upgrade to iOS 13, my suggestion would be to try to troubleshoot that issue first. If you can't fix the issue, then try to reach out to Apple to see if they have any fixes that they can put in place or help you get in place to fix the problem that you're having. But if you're just having so many issues with iOS 13, then you should definitely probably try and downgrade back to iOS 12. But downgrading definitely does come with some caveats. One one being it's gonna completely wipe all the information that's in your phone. And if you don't have a backup of your profile from an iOS 12 backup, you can't use an iOS 13 backup in an iOS 12 OS. So if all your backups are on the current iOS 13, you don't have the option to really load your information in iOS 12. So anything saved, any information that you have that hasn't been backed up in iOS 12, when you do that downgrade, you won't be able to load that information because it's running on a future OS. And then the other question would be, can you even just downgrade your phone? Is it even possible? The answer currently is still yes. Even though there isn't any official site where you would go and download the iOS file, there are a bunch of sites on the internet. And I'm gonna put one in the description, very reputable that you can go to, to download previous iOS files. And as long as those iOS files are still signed by Apple, then you can definitely still load them through your iTunes and restore your phone using the older iOS. Now, Apple usually keeps those iOS files signed for a couple of days, even up to a week after the new iOS has been released. So you can go ahead and try to do it now. I just did it on my phone. It's still available and it works just fine with no hiccups. So again, if you're at that last resort and you need to downgrade, then go ahead and follow these instructions and you should be all set to go. So the first thing you wanna do is load up your iTunes and connect your phone to iTunes. Once you've connected your phone to iTunes, you want to go ahead and download that backup file. Link will be in the description of this video. You can go ahead and click there and you can go to that website. It's gonna show you a list of different devices. You pick the device that you're using and then you look for the iOS file that you are wanting to downgrade to. Right now, the iOS 12 is the last one that is currently signed by Apple because there's two that has been recently released. You wanna go ahead and download that file into your computer with your phone connected, go into iTunes, select your phone, and then you wanna to go to the backup and restore section of iTunes. And once in there, you're gonna press the Alt option or Shift key on Windows, and you're going to click the restore option. And then it's going to give you the ability to locate the file that you're looking for. So you're gonna go ahead and select the file that we just downloaded from that website. Once that file is selected, then you can begin the restore process on your phone. Now the restore process is gonna take a little while. It's going to basically wipe your phone completely and reinstall install the OS, the previous OS on your phone once more. And then you're just gonna have to go through the standard setup options as if the phone was brand new. And again, remember when you get to the restore from backup option, if you don't have an iOS 12 backup, you won't be able to restore from that backup because if your backup is running on iOS 13, it just won't work unfortunately. Now once everything is completed and if you do have an iOS 12 backup and everything is restored, you can then log into the phone, do a quick check, notice that your phone is now running on an iOS 12 OS instead of iOS iOS 13. I know iOS 13 has been kind of buggy for a lot of people, so if this is really the only option for you, hopefully this video will help you in getting your iOS working the way that it was. And you can kind of hang out until Apple has had the ability to kind of stabilize their iOS. They're releasing updates continuously. The one that was just released on Friday, it looks like they're kind of patching everything as it comes in. And I know everyone's been having kind of a big problem with iOS 13. So hopefully as we go down the line and it gets a little bit more stable, you guys can either upgrade or stay upgraded without any further issues. Now, if you guys wanna know a little bit more about the problems and issues that have been facing iOS 13, go ahead and click on this video here. This video is something that YouTube believes you would enjoy watching. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you don't miss when we release some cool, helpful content. And until next time, guys, peace.